Hey guys, I'm Al Valentine, and I just got my Mac Pro today, so I decided I'll upgrade my storage capacity on it, and I'll show you how to do it as well. So if you have a Mac Pro, it's actually really easy. And the first thing you need to do is, well, unplug everything. And then next, there's a handy little latch on the side, which you just flip up, and then you open the case like that. Make sure you put this somewhere so it doesn't get a big scratch on it. Now these are the hard disk bays. Usually, you just give a nice pull, and out it goes. And here's my main storage drive at the moment. So I'm going to keep that in there, but you can actually see how it's attached. So put that back in. And I want to add a drive just for media and storage. And here it is. It's a 3 terabyte Samsung drive, which I got quite a while ago, but I'm going to use it again. So first thing I, what I want to do is pull out one of these caddies and it comes with the screws already so what you need is a nice old screwdriver the Phillips head one or a star one and then we just take these out you don't have to take them all the way out you just want to get them right there to the edge because they've got a nice silicone pad in between there we go and they're all semi loosened I did that earlier so now I'm going to show you how to add it in Alright, I've got the hard drive, screwdriver. You just want to line them up there on top of the pinholes for the screws, and then we simply attach them. You want to do it in a star formation so you get it all nice and nice and equal. Now you don't want to tighten too much, it does have a silicone little ring to stop you from accidentally squishing something but even then you want to make sure it's tight but not too tight because remember it's still electronics and anything can go wrong if you hit it or sque squeeze too much you can hear a little squeak there as the silicone pads can push in being twisted against the metal All right. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then here we go. All you have to do now, you've got the SATA port there in power and it's actually already inside. So all you do is pop it up there and there you go. Make sure it's nice and in. And that's that. Time to turn it on and see if it all works. Okay, so the hard drive's in and the computer's on. Let's see if it's actually there. That should be easy enough. There we go, there's the normal main hard drive and there's the new one. So we can click get info. So we can see it's my old Windows NTFS one in 2 terabyte. And there we have it. That's how you install a hard drive in a Mac Pro. Quite easy, isn't it? So thanks for watching.